Omar intends baking two milk tarts for her friends, who will be arriving at 5.30 in the afternoon, right? She uses the ingredients and information below. She can only bake one milk tart at a time. While the first milk tart is in the oven, she prepares the second milk tart in order to put it into the oven the moment the first one is taken out. Okay, she's super efficient, Omar. Right? So it's ingredients and information for one milk tart. So you prep for 30 minutes and then you cook for 40 minutes. That's the temperature and here's the ingredients. So it's kind of lots of moving pieces, but this is pretty standard if you are, are any form of baker. Okay? Use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Omar would like the second milk tart to be taken out of the oven 15 minutes before her friends arrive. Okay? So basically she wants it to come out at 17.15. Okay, so that it's cooled down and they're ready to eat it when they come. Determine the time Oma must place the first milk tart in the oven. So it's not asking when does she start making the first milk tart. She's saying, well, when must she put the first milk tart into the oven? Okay, so you should be able to think this one through. Okay, 3.3.1. We're going to say we start here. We're going to take away 15 minutes. Right, we're going to take away 40 minutes because that's going to be my second milk tart, right? And then I'm going to take away another 40 minutes and that's my first milk tart. Now you could be saying, but what about the time to prepare the, the second milk tart, right? That extra 30 minutes. Well, while the first milk tart is in the oven, we use 30 of those 40 minutes to prepare the second one, right? So that is how much time she needs off, right? So effectively... She needs this in its entirety here, right, is going to be 55, I mean 15 plus 40 is 55, plus another 40 is 95, right? So basically 95 minutes before her friends come, she needs to put it in the oven. So my answer here, right, so if you want to convert this, many ways you can do this. This is one hour, right, and 35 minutes. So one hour before that is going to be 16, 30 and then 35 minutes away from that is going to be 15.55, okay? And that will be your time, right, that she will need to put her first milk tart into the oven. Excuse the noise, just my inverter. Let's continue. Right, so it says convert the baking temperature to degrees Celsius rounded to the nearest 10 degrees. You may use the following formula. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to say, okay, well, what temperature does she need to put these milk tarts in at? And it's 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to say, well, the Celsius version of that is going to be 325 minus 32 times by 5 over 9. Literally just plugging everything in. Okay, put it into your calculator. Make sure you don't make any errors. 325 minus 32 times by 5 over 9. And my answer there is 162.7, and I'm just going to say 8 degrees Celsius. Let's just check if we're done. Right, it says here, round it to the nearest 10 degrees. The nearest 10 degrees to that, right, if you want to do a little squiggly, that means equivalent, is 160 degrees Celsius. Okay, if you are any form of baker, you know it's really difficult to set your oven to the specific, right, temperature. So it's 160, right? Why don't we do it to 170? Well, it's closer to 160, okay? And that is us done there. Okay, let's move on to our last question here. It says, determine how many liters of milk Omar needs to bake the two milk tarts. Okay, so let's look here. Milk, 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 milk. There's milk. Okay. This is for one milk tart, right? Careful there, one milk tart. So she's going to need four and a quarter for one milk tart. And we're going to times that by two. So let's just put that into our calculator, right? Sometimes students struggle with this. But look, you can put a mixed fraction in there. Okay, there's that. And we're going to times it by two. And our answer is 8.5. Okay, but 8.5 what, guys? 8.5 cups. Okay, that's all right. But it asked for us, it asked us in the question to say how many liters. Now you should know this. This is something you need to know. One cup, right, equals 250 mils, right? And four cups 
equal a thousand mils, which equals one liter. You should know that. Okay. So you can see automatically from this, right? If four cups make one liter, eight cups is going to give us two liters, right? And then we have this 0.5 cups, right? What is 0.5 cups? Well, 0.5 cups is half of that, which is 125 milliliters, right? So that would be eight liters, but now we need to include this. So it's going to be 2.125 liters equals 8.5 cups. Okay, you could be saying, oh, Marks, I don't understand how we got from these milliliters to this decimal. Well, if we want to convert that to liters, what do we do? We divide it by a thousand and it becomes, I'm just going to write it over here, that. And then we add that and that, and that gives us that value there. Okay. And that is us done for this question. Let's move on to question four.